Here's a quick probability fact that I call the average minimum is the sum of powers. And this is a probability problem about rolling n-sided dice and you roll them m times. And this gives you a collection x1, x2, all the way up to xm. We take their minimum value and we ask what is that on average? What is the expected value of the minimum of m independent n-sided dice? And it turns out this is a very nice formula. It's the sum of powers, one to the m plus two to the m plus dot 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 all the way up to n to the m all divided by n to the m. So a very nice sum that gives you this average. And the way you can prove it is by using something called the Darth Vader rule. Now the Darth Vader rule for probability, it tells you the expected value for integer valued random variables. It says, if you wanna do the average value, you add up the probabilities that it's bigger than one, bigger than two, all the way up to its maximum value, in this case, n. So you add up all these probabilities, that will give you the average value. I have a separate video on the Darth Vader rule if you wanna check that out, but let's assume that it's true and see what this is. Now we can do a very nice simplification because the minimum of a bunch of dice rolls being larger than something is exactly the same as every single dice roll individually being larger than that. If you want the minimum value of rolling a bunch of dice to be larger than say two, then you need every single dice roll to be larger than two. Uh, those are the exact same event. So we can replace these minimums with long sequences of and statements, right? Every single dice roll has to be larger than the value we're talking about. You have x1 and x2 and x3 all the way up to xm all have to obey the same greater than sign. Finally, we can use the fact that all the dice rolls are independent here. So if you're asking for the probability that x1 does something and x2 does something and x3 does something, you just multiply all those probabilities. So each of these probabilities that you see here will be a product of m different terms. And in this case, it's the product of the same thing m times in a row. So you multiply all of these things by themselves m times, that's something to the power m, and you end up with this nice sequence of probabilities. The probability x1 is bigger than one to the power m, it's bigger than two to the power m, all the way up to it's bigger than n to the power m. And last but not least, these are dice rolls. What is the chance that a single dice roll is larger than some value? Well, it's just proportional to that value. So this one's n over n, then n minus one over n, all the way down to one over n. And this is exactly the sequence we had before. It's the sum of powers. It's written in the reverse order that we wanted. So you just reverse the order and that gives us the final answer that we wanted. We've got the formula. In a separate video, I found a really nice approximation for the expected value of the minimum of dice that has nothing to do with this. And because we have this formula, which is an exactly equals to, and we have that other video with an approximately equals to, we therefore can combine them to get an approximation for the sum of the powers. This is called Fallhaber's formula, and we have a really nice approximation for these sums of powers. So go check out that video if you want to see more.